Hello students, welcome to my channel. We are discussing digestion from chapter number 6, Life Processes. We have to discuss the role of small intestine in digestion in the upcoming video. But prior to that, I would like to tell you what are exocrine and what are endocrine glands because I talked about the heterocrine gland as the pancreas. So we must know what is the difference between both, right? So what are glands? First of all, we should know what are glands, then we will study the types of it. Glands are actually the groups of cells that secrete or produce something. Whenever any group of cells, they assemble together, then they may work as glands if they are producing something, right? Now glands, they could be of two types. They can either be exocrine or they could be endocrine. Exocrine glands are the group of cells that secrete or pour their secretion in a tube which is known as duct. So exocrine glands, they will always bring their secretion in a duct. For example, saliva reaches to our mouth because it is being produced by salivary glands and this saliva is reaching our mouth through a duct. Similarly, tear glands also fall in the category of exocrine glands because tear comes to our eye with the help of a duct. Sweat glands present in our body also falls in the same category because they are being produced in a duct, right? So, we have seen that exocrine glands are the one that pour their secretion in a duct. And these are the examples, salivary glands, tear glands and the sweat glands. On the other hand, endocrine glands are the group of the cells that will pour their secretion directly in blood. Directly in blood. No duct is involved or no tube is involved. Okay, no duct or tube is involved. So, generally when we talk about endocrine glands, we talk about hormones because endocrine glands, they produce the hormones. Now, as an example of the endocrine gland, we can give adrenal gland as its example. Thyroid gland can also be its example. Rest more examples will be read in chapter number 7 where we will talk about control and coordination. So in this video, we have read that exocrine glands, they pour their secretions directly in the tube. Endocrine glands, they pour their secretions directly in the blood. Now, as we are studying digestion, thus we will be talking about exocrine glands because these are the ones that basically help in the digestion. The exocrine part of the pancreas produces amylase, lipase and trypsin which helps in bringing final digestion of the various macromolecules like carbohydrates, proteins and fats in the small intestine. I hope it is very much clear to everyone. Now, you need to tell me what is the composition of pancreatic juice means the liquid that is being produced by pancreas what is it containing i mean which all enzymes are there when i am talking about pancreatic juice that means i am talking about its exocrine part you can write your answers in the comment section. Definitely you will get a feedback in the form of reply and a shout out of your name will be taken in the upcoming videos. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Consider subscribing because it would be really very much beneficial to you. All the videos will be recorded as per NCRT titles. See you in next video where we will be talking about the role of small intestine in digestion.